Hi, this is Kemi O'Haig, and I am the owner of Sexless Marriage No More. So um, I've created a Facebook page for it, and I'm in the middle of creating a website and a blog. So I'm just here to share my experiences. Um, me and my husband do these together sometimes, but I feel really called to speak into the women part of it. So um, I was kind of just having thoughts today, like we've been married for 10 years together for 11 and a half, and I've always been a little sexually dysfunctioned, I should say. Um, either I have way too much sexual power and it causes problems in our marriage because um, I'm attracting things that are a little inappropriate, or um, then I get to a point that I just completely box up that sexual power and put it in my pocket where nobody else can find it, nobody else can touch it. So, um, and then it really affects my marriage. And uh, I've always kind of just felt like uh, Jeff and I were really great friends. We had a great friendship, but that intimacy part was um, just the part that I did to please my man. And I started thinking, like, I should be a sexual woman, a sexual being. Like, um, I'm in a marriage, like this is the time that I should be having the most best sexual connection with my spouse I possibly can have. And I've opted out of that for some reason, and I know a big part of it is the whole good girl thing that we get taught when we are um, growing up as girls, like we gotta be good girls, we have to cross our legs, we have to sit nice, we gotta say nice words, we um, we don't dress like that because guys will think that we're slutty. And, and some of this advice was really good advice, like totally um, assisted us in not attracting that kind of attention. But once we get married, like these programs still play in our mind. So we're thinking, okay, now we're married, but mm, I still have to be a good girl. I can't do that. I can't dress like this. And so um, I think it's kind of an outreach for us girls to tap into that sexual energy. Um, so I kind of wanted to share with you just that thought of the whole good girl aspect of things. Um, and plus, of course, the media, we see all these sexy women on TV and um, we always, um, it kind of devalues us with our body image because, of course, we're not looking like, you know, six-pack abs and um, we have kids running around and houses to take care of and husbands to take care of and businesses or work, jobs, whatever, kids are doing sports and but um, the sexual part of your marriage is a huge part. And um, I know that me and my husband have committed to being intimate on a consistent basis. So, um, and it just has created such a feeling of connection and love and togetherness and excitement. Um, of course, that lust piece kind of dies down because um, you're not brand new to each other. And, and when you first, start dating, like you dress up and you take the time to do all those sexy things. And really, if we think about it, like that's the time that you have to be doing the, you should not have to do that at all. Like the lust factor is so strong. You could be in sweats and your hair could be up in a ponytail and that's not a big deal because that sexual tension is so great. But um, once we get married, like that part kind of drops off. We stop getting all dressed up and doing the little things that make us feel sexy. Um, so we feel more sexually connected to our man. Um, we start wearing sweats and pulling her hair and ponytails, and it's like, um, there's a place for that, absolutely, and that can be sexy in a certain place, but um, not everyday girls, like, we need to be um, connecting to what really excites um, us as women, and um, I know little pieces of me, like, I feel a lot better when I get dressed and I do my hair and um, I wear, you know, something sexy, like of course a sexy underwear to me makes me feel just more in touch with my feminine power. So um, this is just me sharing some insight and um, I will continue to do so. And um, if you are feeling drawn to, to strengthening that sexual part in your marriage and really figuring out why us as women have disconnected like I hear women say, oh, I do the sex thing to please my man, but I mean, we should be sexual beings. We should be wanting sex. Our man should be I'm saying, oh gosh, I have to have sex with my wife so she's happy because it should be that strong and that great. And um, so 
Uh, if you feel like you want to be part of my movement, then um, I have a Facebook page called Sexless Marriage No More. And you can like that, and I love just participation and comments, and we can um, grow as a group of married couples and of women in a marriage and finding that power. So, um, And then when my website's up, I will definitely let you know, and I will be blogging and just different things like that. So um, I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Thanks. This is Cameo Hague saying bye-bye.